Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show a demo on how to get employee details by department wise having same cell. One of the entry question is the time of the for any SQL proportion or data analyst question. So I will first of all I will show my two tables in the, in the database. So one is employee details and the other one is department table. So in employee details, there are details of ID, name, salary, department ID and address. And department ID is the foreign key in employee, in employee table. Whereas it is primary key when it comes to department table. So it contains only two columns, department ID and department name. So by using uh, these two tables, so we want to get how to get the employee details department wise having same cell. First of all, I am taking this, the, uh, I want to get the details. First one is employees having the same salary. Employees having the same salary with department details. And employees having the same salary by department. So, <coughs> in employee details, we have both department and salary as well. So first of all, I will answer the first question that is employee having the same salary. For that, I am writing from, from employee details, EMP details. So I am here we need to write some count and power, power class. So first of all, we want to know the number of employees having the same salary. For that, I am using the count star. So power, power. After that, a partition by partition by partition by in which column? Its salary column. Partition by salary as some alias name here sal c and t sal c and t is the alias name sal c and t from this table so if you execute this one you will get how many we are partition on salary column we, after partition, we want to count of star. So, how many salaries it will get the number? So, in sal count, which is an alias table, it will show the number, the number of salary count. So, so here 11,000 it appears twice, 12,000 it appears twice, 13,000, 13,000, 14,000 appears twice like this you will get the results but here we are having employees having the same salary but here even though we don't want these ones we want only twos that is employees having the same salary so for that i will make this entire query as sub query on top of it i am writing one more query is Select ID name salary from from which table from I am mentioning this table as yes yes means some yes sir yeah yeah this is some alias derived table name this one is called derived column, derived table name, where we use where, where cell count, cell count means alias name, alias name, alias cell count greater than 1, and order by, order by salary D. So, if you execute this one, You will get six records 
only applies having um, similar salary so earlier we got the count as well and even though there is having employee having same salary unique salary by giving the this query sub query but we want to we apply the uh, on uh, alias table we apply the logic greater than one so that it will get only two employees having um, more than one salary we will get by, by writing this query so if you see this employees having the same salary you will get like this i will answer the second question that is employees having the same salary with department here we need to apply some inner join it also asks the department name so for that first i am writing the sub query select some star from and emp details inner join dgpt on, on i am giving a alias name as g here and here i am giving alias name as d so by on condition here is g dot dgpt id is equal to d dot id so this is the basic join condition to join the two table now here we have to write some e dot star i want columns from e table so all columns from the e table apart from that i want the department name from from this department underscore name from d table because department name you cannot see the department name in employee details that's why i'm mentioning the department name directly because department name exists only in department table after that here again we use the count star this this function this count star function count star this function already we have seen it will count the the same salary uh, 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 number of the same salary suppose 12000 there are two members 11000 here we see 12000 two members are there 11000 two members are there 40000 two members are there like that it will use by i am applying the the same uh, count and power class here and after that again i make this entire query as the derived table and uh, on top of it i am writing one more query just like earlier select here e dot id sorry not e here i am make it is as it as a a table a select a, a dot id comma and a dot name a dot name comma a dot dgpt name dgpt name comma a dot salary a dot salary these are the um, details we want to get from this table and here uh, i am writing the where condition where a dot i am using this same alias name cell count is greater than 1 order by order by salary so if we execute this query the query so here what is the question employees having the same salary with department details so uh, uh, first of all i 
just um, the same query what is um, uh, first of all uh, i join the employee details and uh, department wise and um, whatever the columns we need i will take the uh, all columns from the employee table and and uh, department name from department table and i am using the count star over partition by salary so this is for um, salary having the count of cm salary uh, so i give the uh, alias name here so after that i uh, i make this entire query as sub -query, uh, the sub query uh, and call is a derived column uh, derived table name a so from this a i, I am taking the whatever the details we want here here it is also asked salary with department details as well for that id name department and salary so everything so here the logic will be the same the fair alias um, name that is uh, count of salary greater than one here also i am applying the same logic so if you execute this one you will get the same salary department the employee same the same salary department in first query there is a department even though we got the fixed records when you apply the first query there is a department because he he read the query and only applied details where we don't find any department name now in this query after joining we will take the department name as well now this is the final question employees having the same salary by department so he here in this query what we get what we get is employees having same salary with department means you will get only four records same salary in it department same salary and the finance department there is same salary so here even though the 11000 have same salary but department wise uh, it differs there are two departments here the, the question is employees having the same salary by department wise so you will get just four records if you if you run this query now now i am taking the, the same query again one more time so i apply the one logic here in partition by so what we did in partition by partition by we, we just may mention the salary but here question is the employees having the same salary by department so that make this as the dept name dept underscore name just to add the department name in partition by class you will get the result so one more time i am telling employees having the same salary with department details you will get six records but here the question is the employees having the same salary by department you will get only four records only it and finance having the same salary see here i just add the department name in addition to the the salary column in the work class so that you will get department wise similar salary details here i added only salary without having any department that's why it will get other department also we we can get the six records actually in six records in it department have same salary and finance department have same salary but 11000 have same salary but the department will uh, varies there are two departments here finance and the hr for that i am adding the department name in the partition by class and execute the same query you will get just four records you need to answer this question first is the employee having same salary just here you mentioned the count star over partition by salary to get the say, having same salary count from the employee details table so here additionally they are asking department details as well for that sake i am using the inner join to get the department name and here in partition class it, it is asking by department same salary but same salary by department wise for that i am taking in partition by class uh, i am using department name comma salary to get the result so thanks for